Hello bankers, it's Piggy Bank. Today we have a new type of video going on regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This game has a replay system, but it only lets me save 10 replays at a time, which is a very restricting number. Um, so I thought, why not upload these onto YouTube so that I can start saving more replays without having to worry about losing my older replays. And I can also use that opportunity to add commentary and explain what's going on. Talk about why I'm deciding to do certain things, why I think a move is good, that kind of stuff. I'm not like the best in Yu-Gi-Oh, but for what it's worth, I did get to plat one with multiple decks. So I'm hoping this will be helpful to people anyway. So for this first duel, I'm going to be using a Drytron Megalith deck, which is an obscure but um, fairly powerful deck. Um, and my opponent happens to be using a Dogmatica deck, which is also pretty obscure uh, at this point in Master Duels anyway. Okay, so they start with activating the Dear Servant, which is a limited card, uh, so good start for them. Now they're able to search a bunch of cards um, and set up the board. Alright, now that it's my turn, I'm gonna start by activating Alpha Thuban to search for a Benton. Which would allow me to search further into my combo. However, they activate Max C, so I need to decide do I keep going or do I stop. Uh, but considering that I don't have any defensive resources and they might be able to kill me next turn. And also considering the fact that this deck that I'm using is able to combo into generating a ton of advantage. So I figured that it might be worth going for the Max C challenge either way. So here we go, maxi challenge accepted. Summon Zeta to search for the ritual spell and use Benton to get another Benton going into Beta Fafnir. But at this point, they activate Fleur de Lis, um, th which allows them to summon the card and negate my Beta Fafnir. Normally this would uh, kill my combo here, but luckily I do have the Foolish Burial here to keep on extending the combo. Okay, now I'm able to draw a card because I have a Ritual Spell or Monster. Called by the Grave isn't the best card to draw, but it still seems to be pretty good. Pitching the Benten to summon Gamma, allowing me to summon another Drytron from the Grave. Now I go into Assembled Nightingale. This card is one of the reasons why I went for the Maxi Challenge. I'm able to go into Zeus um, in my second main phase, which will allow me to nuke the board. Um, and that will uh, mitigate a lot of the advantage that they gathered by drawing a bunch through Maxi. But yes, uh, they're targeting my Nightingale with Dogmatica Punishment forcing me to use Nightingale's effect to protect itself. But now they destroy my Fafnir, which is not a huge deal because I would be nuking the board anyway and its effect was negated. Now I go to Downward Magician just to um, give Zeus one more, one more overlay so that I can use its effect twice. All right, so at this point, I kind of have to accept that they're going to normal summon Aliester and search for Invocation. So I nuke the field now and activate Call by the Grave so that I don't waste it. Uh, targeting this card, which I figured is the biggest threat at the moment in the Grave that I can get. But that allows them to special summon Ecclesia, extending their play. Now they summon Maximus, um, sending two extra deck monsters from both sides of the field. But because I'm using the Drytron deck, I'm able to send uh, two of the Herald of Arclight, allowing me to search for some more ritual monsters. Um, Aerotron being my favorite card in the Megalith archetype because I'm able to surprise your opponent quite a bit with it. 
So at this point I use Zeus again, but it gets negated. And destroyed. Looks like they are also on the Witchcrafter. At this point, uh, they are switching into battle phase, so I go ahead and use Aratron just in case they're able to surprise summon during the battle phase and kill me this turn because I'm only able to use Aratron during the main phase. Alright, that allows me to get full off of Ophiel. Turns out I didn't need to summon Ophiel this turn to live, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. Okay, now I'm able to go on the counter attack. I am thinking in my head that I need to win this turn because they have a ton of resources and if I don't win, I will be at a disadvantage. So I'm going for a full combo here. Luckily, they don't have another maxi. Alright, so I draw a card and I top deck a uh, Twin Twister, so I'm just using it just to be safe. Um, to get rid of their back row despite um, perhaps needing the Meteorist Drytron um, for my combo. Alright, so their back row was not a threat, but I can get the Meteorist Drytron back by using its own effect. Now I'm gonna start the combo. Uh, summon Haggith in attack and search for the Megalith Field spell, which gives me a ton of value. When I ritual summon a Megalith monster, I am able to uh, take one ritual monster from the grave to my hand. And Fool can also do something similar, leveling itself up. So I'm, aim I'm getting Aratron and Benton to my hand. And then I summon Hero to send Old Entity so that I can destroy one of their cards. But now they're activating their Witchcrafter card, uh, which allows them to special summon it uh, and bounce a monster from my field to the hand. Which is kind of threatening, but they targeted my full. So I'm just using its effect to tribute itself and go for the Fey Lake, which gives all my monsters a uh, boost in attack and defense. I do that because I'm going for the kill right now. Uh, I summoned Mascarena here. That was totally unnecessary. Um, you know, go into Nightmare Unicorn, bounce one of their cards into the deck, and then go into Access Code Talker. Now Access Code Talker has a ton of attack points, destroy one of their cards, and Go for the kill. Exactly zero life points. Maxi challenge complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a ton of fun uh, with this duel, uh, but I have a lot more fun duels that I want to show off. So I'm hoping that you guys look forward to that. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time and take care.